AI video is incredible. Tools like VO3 and Hilo can generate incredibly realistic and engaging AI videos using either text prompts or image prompts. The problem is these are closed source models, which means you have to go to their website to use them, you have to pay them directly, and you have to deal with their content restrictions. That all changed with the release of 1.2.2. This is an open source model that rivals the quality of VO3 and Hilo and is generating some of the best AI video that I have ever seen. And the best part is it's 100% open source and free with zero restrictions. That means you can generate uncensored videos as many as you want right on your PC using this model. I'm gonna walk you through the entire process right now. All right, so in order to run this open source model on my PC, I'm gonna start with something called Comfy UI. So in order to use this, you're gonna to go to comfy.org and you're gonna download it for either Windows, Mac, whatever you have installed. If you have a Windows PC, you are gonna to need to have an NVIDIA graphics card or Comfy will not work. If you're using a Mac, you're gonna need an M1, M2, or M3 chip in order to use this software. I highly recommend this software. It really does make life very, very simple for not only one, but a ton, a ton of open source models. So once you have Comfy installed, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to the workflow uh, section and you're gonna go to browse templates. Now under browse templates, you have a ton of different options. So we have image generation, we have video generation, we can do audio generation. So it's basically uh, a library of a ton of different models that you can use. And this has all of the latest and greatest open source models at our disposal, including Flux for image generation, uh, and of course, WAN 2.2 for video generation. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with a template here. This is the easiest way to use this, and this is built right into Comfy. So uh, if I wanna do text to video for one, this is gonna be your best bet. It's the 14 billion parameter text to video model. Now they also have an image to video model. They have a first to last frame model. So I can, I can upload the first frame and the last frame and it'll generate a video that progresses from the first frame to the last frame. Very, very cool. This is something um, that is, is, is very, very useful in a lot of different ways. And then they have a fun version of the model. Uh, and then they have a fun control version of the model. And then they have a 5 billion parameter version of the model, which is a lot more lightweight if you don't have as strong of a video card. So uh, in today's example, I'm gonna show you on my 5090 graphics card, which is the best graphics card on the market right now. Uh, but if you have a smaller graphics card, like a 3070 or a you know 3090, or a 4090 or whatever you have, um, I would definitely say start with 5 billion and then move your way up to 14, although 14 is gonna give you uh, by far the best results. Now, one last thing I'm gonna mention here is that Comfy has an amazing Reddit uh, subreddit. It's called R Comfy UI. If you are into open source AI, uh, especially generative AI, I highly, highly recommend browsing this subreddit. There is some incredible stuff in this subreddit. Uh, people show you stuff like, like this guy showing you segment control within context. So if I want to add a specific person to a specific area of an image, you can do that within context, which is a flux image model. Um, just tons and tons of really cool stuff here. They give you full workflows uh, for one. So this is actually, this one here is pretty cool. It's for a continuous generation. So you can see with this workflow, they're able to get a video to go not from the, you know, because one generates five second videos. So if I wanted to go from five seconds to 24 seconds um, and generate one continuous video, uh, I could do that here as well. So really, really cool stuff here um, from this subreddit. And uh, I'm going to show you a way that you can actually use Comfy UI uh, in a lot of these models without using your own graphics card if you don't have a good graphics card at the end of the video. So stick around for that if you want to see that. All right, so let's start with um, the, the one workflow. So again, we're gonna come back, go to browse templates, and I'm gonna load up the video and I'm gonna load up the text to video model here, okay? So here we have it loaded up. Now, the way to use this is really, really simple. Uh, essentially what you have to do is I'm gonna go to video size. This is the first thing I'm gonna do. 
Um, and I can actually edit this. So if I wanted, so by default, it's gonna be a 640 by 640, which is a one by one. But if I wanted to make it like a 1920 by 1080, I could actually do that here. I could set that up here. Now I can also set the length of this uh, video. So um, this is based on frames per second. So I believe it is 16 frames per second. So 81 divided by 16 is five seconds, right? So this is a five second video. So if I wanted to do like a 10 second video, I could technically do uh, like 160 uh, frames here. But the problem with this is that if you, if you don't have like an insanely powerful graphics card, this is gonna crash every single time. It, it basically crashes for me when I do anything over five or six seconds on my 5090. So if you have a smaller graphics card or um, you know anything consumer based, this isn't really gonna work well for anything less than five seconds unless you do this uh, workflow, which I haven't tested just yet, uh, but I am excited to test this. If you wanna see me test this, drop a comment uh, and I'll probably make a video on this as well. So this is how you set the length of the video. Um, I would just keep it at 81, which is gonna be five seconds, but if you wanted to generate a shorter video for any reason, you could do that. Uh, and you could try a larger one as well, see if it works on yours. If you have, let's say, you know, three insanely good graphics cards, right? So uh, we're gonna ignore the rest of this and we're gonna go straight to the prompt. So um, this is the default prompt that comes uh, in this LoRa. So it's it's the the video you see there with the uh, with the girl turning around here, right? That's this prompt right here that generated this image. Um, it also has a negative prompt. This is in Chinese. Uh, I don't know why it's in China. I, I, this model is Chinese, so I guess that's why. So I guess I do know why it's in Chinese. But um, I would just, unless you have some negative things you wanna add to the prompt here, I would just uh, keep this here or remove this, um, depending on what you wanna do. If you want truly uncensored video, definitely get rid of this negative prompt and just add whatever you wanna see here. Uh, and again, I'm not gonna show you what I was able to generate, but let's just say that uh, anything that you can think of, uh, it will generate for you. And yeah, I was very shocked at uh, what it was able to generate. So um, so that's pretty much it. So you set up uh, what you want to generate here, and then you come down here and you hit run. Um, and that's gonna be it. It's gonna basically run in the background here and it's gonna generate a video for you. So I'm just gonna hit run to show you what that looks like. All right, so I ran a prompt and the prompt was, a cinematic scene of Batman walking down the streets of New York City at night. And this is what it gave me. Pretty solid, um, not mind blowing, but I can definitely tailor this prompt to make this even better. Um, but again, for an open source video model, it is very, very, very good. Uh, so then the other thing you can do is image to video. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So we're just gonna go back to our workflow, browse templates, video, and we're gonna do one 2.2, 14 billion parameter image to video. Uh, this is very simple. You come here to step two, load image. Again, we're gonna skip everything in step one. We're just gonna assume that this is set up correctly. And we're gonna to go to image. I put an image here of uh, Trump and Putin shaking hands here. Um, and then the prompt was just, uh, they get up and joke around with each other. And um, this is the video that it generated. <laughs> so that's it. I mean, it keeps the consistency of the faces very, very good. Um, and you would definitely not be able to generate this image to video with anything but an uncensored video model because all of the video models out there, whether you're using VO3, whether you're using high, low, cling, whatever. Um, if you're going to their websites or even if you're using free pick or something like that to actually generate videos, uh, you're gonna run into the issue where if it detects somebody who's a celebrity or a politician or something, they're gonna, they're gonna block the generation of the video. You can see here one uh, had no problem generating this video for me uh, and was able to do it pretty quickly. Now, just so that you know, it takes probably about I want to say seven to eight minutes to generate a video on my PC, sometimes a little faster. So I would say like anywhere, let's say five to eight minutes, it takes to generate one five second video, uh, 640 by 640 on my PC. Um, and I, again, I have a 5090. So just keep that in mind. So if you have a lower graphics card, uh, it could take maybe, you know, 20, 30 minutes just for a five second video. Um, so that's something to keep in mind as well. So 
Um, we do have the option to put a prompt here as well. Uh, we can put a negative prompt and we can also set the um, width, height, and length as well here. Um, and that is pretty much it for the uh, text to video. Um, now, one thing I think that's really cool also and that makes Comfy so cool is let's say I want to use a different model here, right? So let's say I want to use InPaint. Uh, what's really cool is when you click that, it's going to show you, hey, you're missing a model. Um, download the model. And if I hit download here, it's going to download this model and it's going to immediately allow me access to the workflow or I can upload an image, you know, do whatever I need to do to this image, right? And run it right here. So it just makes it so simple to use these open source models. You just browse the workflow, browse the template that you want to use, uh, whatever you like here in this area. Um, I can go ahead and, and click on it. Um, and then, you know, if there's something missing, I can download it and boom, I can run this workflow and use open source. Really, really, really cool stuff. Uh, you can also connect um, Comfy to a virtual graphics card. So you can rent graphics cards uh, online and you can connect to like virtual PCs. Um, and run it there. Uh, I might do another video on that. If you want to see that, drop a comment as well, and I'll show you how to do that. So another way to run these uncensored generative AI models online is using something called Civit AI. So Civit AI is a very, very cool website. You can actually get workflows for Comfy here, but you can also actually just use their GPUs and run these models online. So all of Civit AI is essentially dedicated to open source AI. So if I come here to models, you can see some of the popular models. Um, and, you know, a lot of people use this for like NSFW stuff, uh, as you can see here. Um, but essentially, yeah, you come here, um, you set up, you, you find the model you want to run, right? I can click here uh, and then I can actually run this model. I can hit create and I can actually run uh, the model here. Um, so you do have to pay for this, obviously, um, but you can come in here and... Um, you know, put what you want to see. You can run whatever model you want, put a prompt, negative prompt, aspect ratio, boom, um, and just run this model, generate it. Um, and they have a ton of different models here, including one, three models, a bunch of different LoRa's. Um, you can do images as well, obviously. Um, and you can see some of the stuff that people have generated here as well using these open source models. Um, so very, very cool stuff. And definitely the easiest way to run one 2.2 um, or anything else. And the cool thing is too, if I come here to Civit and I go to the video section, so let's say I wanted to do something to this video here. I could click on the video um, and I can actually see what this was uh, generated with, right? So I can see this is Aether Punch 1 2.2 5 billion LoRa, right? So I can click that um, and then I can actually either download this so I could run it locally if I wanted to, or I could use this to generate uh, my own video. Right, right here on Civit. So very cool stuff here um, and something I wanted to show you guys as well. Um, if you did want to run this online, you can even just hit the remix button right here and it'll open this up right here for you and you can just start using it right here as well. Um, and I can select, you know, Google or I can do one or whatever I want to use here directly um, from their model here as well. And again, this, this will let you do uh, uncensored stuff. Uh, also, but your best bet if you want to do this yourself is going to be to run this locally. Um, that is my favorite way to run open source AI uh, is locally, but I did want to show you this uh, in case you wanted to run this online. So uh, if you like this video, give it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and please, please drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this, where you think this is going, uh, and what you see the future of open source AI looking like.